Jenny's inspiration was the golden age of cinema. So I wanted to kind of bring that feel, but modernize it, to kind of bring it up to date. So what I did, I kept the skin very, not really matte, but just kind of hydrated matte, that's what I call it. It's the sort of natural glow comes through, but it's not a block of matteness on the skin. And you want to look great in pictures. So it's important that the look translates photographically. And that's why we use three different blushes. I wanted the eyes to look like they were sparkling, almost like they were jewels. And then with the lips, it was like a little stain of Laura Mercier Deep Berry lip cream. So we just wanted to keep it very sort of bridal relevant. We wanted everything just to look really airy and just ethereal and young. So we played with this texture. What we did was we incorporated these different braids along the part and on the hairline, um, very small braids, and then we flat ironed them just to give it more of a crimped look. And we teased everything else and then ran our fingers through it just to kind of blend all the textures together. So that's what you're seeing here. And then we just pulled everything into a side ponytail and then worked it into a really soft bun with loose pieces kind of framing the face. All the headpieces are by Jenny Packham, and each girl has a different headpiece. Some of them have two, some of them aren't wearing any. So we're going to be doing quick changes in line as they get changed into their gowns. Today what we did for the Jenny Packham show, it was basically a 1930s vintage feel. Woman very delicate, but still keeping it very luxurious. So we started out with Au Naturel and we put, applied two coats of this. And then we did a nice generous coat of a, it's a soft shimmer, silver shimmer over it. And then we did Good To Go, a fast coat by Essay. When people sort of say to me, what was the inspiration for the show? It's often, although there is an overall theme, I really do think of them as individual pieces because obviously people only ever wear one of them. They're not going to buy, you know, two to go together. It's leading ladies, really, and it's kind of such a great inspiration point. When you look back at the 1930s, 40s films, they did wear a lot of light colours because of the, the black and white. They couldn't wear much colour. It was either dark or light. So, yeah, really nice inspiration point. Nowadays, the white carpet is becoming a reflection of what's going on in fashion, and the girls are really wanting to make that entrance, but not in a brash way, in a sort of beautiful, feminine, sophisticated way. I've never been a fan of sort of strapping ourselves into things and carrying big, heavy skirts. I, I think it was great that 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 went when it did and women moved on and you know we are so used now to being very comfortable and I even think with the shoes with the weddings I mean it's about enjoying the day not being aware of what you're wearing you should just be able to carry on and that's why I try and keep them as light as possible even the ones with the petticoats we try and use light fabrics I just sort of have this image of her sometimes with wedding dresses. I, I just, I know it sounds a really strange thing to say, but sometimes they can look like slugs, you know, sort of dragging the line. And it's like, it really horrifies me. So I think we try and keep it light. And to me, the movement is, is everything. Jenny's great. She's a great designer and a great ambassador for British Bridal. So yeah, it's, it's great to know Jenny and, and see her collections here in New York doing so well.
Some of the best selling dresses for us are this sort of much more sort of chill, vintage look. Very sort of easy to wear, quite light beading, maybe just a little bit more sort of sparkle around the necklines and the waist. Jenny Packham's show was just exquisite and mesmerizing. All the sparkle, the Hollywood glamour. It's all gorgeous, very elegant, and in this room it just looked even more amazing. This is really the heart of what Jenny Packham's designs are all about. And I love the little cap sleeves, and just very 40s, old Hollywood movie glamour, and almost Joan Crawford for that one with a tie around the neck. But it was so romantic in that, and it wasn't big overwhelming gowns at all, and it's just light, effortless, flowy, and just really, really beautiful. And the, even though the gowns had ornateness to them, they didn't wear the girls at all. And I thought the hair and makeup looked amazing also. Her accessories are so pretty. Her hair pieces are amazing. They're like the best out there, I think. All her backs were very magical also. Cutouts, the laces, the beading, but I mean, for wedding dresses, it's a very three-dimensional garment to wear because obviously at the beginning, the ceremony, you have your back to, to the whole congregation. And I just thought it was beautiful. That one dress with the cap sleeves and all the sparkle and then she turned around with the train and all the sparkles going down. It was so delicately done. It was just magic. The last three or four dresses were our kind of show dresses. The one that you saw last was very much inspired by the Audrey Hepburn looking My Fair Lady. And we've also done a version of that for the Harrods, Harrods window actually for Christmas in, in a lovely lilac colour. So it was just fun putting those sort of last five or six together. And they were our showpieces, yeah. We let go of it. <laughs>